Bro, I swear to God, I leave for one week and the craziest bullshit happens. This shit feels like when you're sick, so you just don't go to school, and then you come back the next day to find out that you had like a fucking surprise pizza party and John Cena showed up. In the week that I've been gone, Kai Sanat, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of him, caused a fucking riot and shut down basically all of New York City. Not even kidding, bro. Like, I, I swear, I, I may have seen it all at this point. This is some fucking crazy shit. Okay, look. Listen, I haven't really looked into it that much. Like, you, you know, like the setup stuff. I've looked into all the other shit. But the setup, from what I can tell, bro was just kind of bored and decided, hey, I'm going to tell my 20 million fans exactly where I am. And not only that, okay, he also was giving out like PS5s and shit. Like, are you fucking kidding me? He also, <laughs> there was very little security. And he, I don't think even checked in like with anybody to see if this shit was legal it was some real fucking stupid shit and, and obviously he got arrested for inciting a fucking riot but like you know honestly you can't really blame him okay from what i know no one died and i mean you know I, like i said I, I didn't really look but like to be honest if i had the power to shut down all of new york city shit i'd do that like every other day i mean this shit is hilarious like at the end of the day it was incredibly stupid people did get injured and and you know it was a complete fuck fest and when it's a crowd that large the only person they can even blame is kai i mean what else were they supposed to do i i feel like there's a lot of people mad that that kai got arrested what the fuck else were they supposed to do arrest half the city there was so many people there like i, I don't know i think he deserved it i mean like he did some stupid shit it was cool for sure and i'd i'd fucking do it if i had that many fans absolutely but you know it was fucking retarded okay let's be honest god man i'm, I'm scrolling through these videos and like Fuck, man, this this feels like BLM all over again. This shit is just absolutely insane. You got people just like beating the shit out of each other for no fucking reason. They're just they're just fighting. You got cops just like throwing people around, a and for good reason. Okay, like I I'm not gonna get into the whole police brutality shit because I I just can't. Okay, I can't. But you know their job is to keep the peace, and sometimes you just can't do that shit peacefully. I'd be throwing motherfuckers around too. Okay, all right. <laughs> Listen, I found I found two more videos that are just fucking hilarious. First, first off, somebody recorded a fucking music video during the riot, which I'm not gonna play for obvious reasons. Copyright being one of them, and also for the fact that the song is fucking ass. It's terrible. Yeah, the song's the song's fucking terrible, but it is on Twitter. Okay, highly recommend playing that shit on mute though. That's that's all I gotta say. Anyways, the the real funny one is that whenever Kai was leaving, or I guess the car that he had brought, I, I don't know if Kai was actually in it, but either way, the car was leaving and people were just fucking riding on it, like it just had people all over it. And the funny part is that the driver did not give a shit. He was hauling ass with like seven people hanging on the car. There was people falling and like rolling across the fucking street. I'll just, I'll just play the clip. Clearly you're looking at a very dangerous situation with this car now driving pretty fast with those people hanging, clinging on to the side and top of it. I, I, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling why they're not stopping to let these people off the car. And the, oh, and then there just fell, someone fell off. Okay, joining us now is Bob Boyce, former NYPD, to talk more about this situation. Bob, can you hear us? It's I just, I just don't understand how the fuck Kai thought this was a good idea. I mean, uh, is this like the first kind of meet and greet kind of thing that he's done? If so, I guess that would make sense. Because honest to God, it's, it's really hard to visualize like follower count and shit like that. It's, it's hard to see that number as a person, if that makes sense. I mean, even with me, I, I fucking the other day I hit what 600 subs so I looked up a picture of what 600 people just looked like just so I could know I I was like you know what fuck it I I don't understand what 600 people is really and even that was far bigger than I thought it was so yeah I mean the guy with fucking 20 million I guess if he's never done a fan thing like that it makes sense right it would be hard to visualize I, I, yeah like he just didn't understand the sheer amount of people that would be there but even so it was a fucking stupid idea okay like and it didn't need to happen there was there was really no point i don't even think that he got through giving away all the shit because of how many you know how much shit was going down it didn't need to happen I, he was just bored i think that the biggest issue with this and also literally everything like this where there's just a large amount of people in an area is it gets to the point where like everyone forgets how to just be a person like the the shit they were doing at this riot they wouldn't normally do and i know that sounds obvious right but what i mean is like w when a crowd is large enough 
the people in said crowd use that as a means to just be fucking stupid. And then you got people who who were acting right, but then they see that guy being stupid, so they act stupid. And then someone sees them and whatever. So within like, it's just a massive snowball effect. And within like 10 seconds, you've got people getting fucking like beat up, fires starting, people getting robbed. Like I, I'd be a dead ass. This shit goes from a one to a 10 in a matter of seconds. And the fact that Kai and his team didn't expect that is just fucking appalling. And also like, why the hell would he not expect expect this type of shit from his fan base specifically i mean like look at the fucking content bros making if you're watching a video and you're a genuine fan of something it's because you are similar in some way and like bro if you're out here blowing up your own house on the fourth of july of course your fans are going to be fucking stupid okay like <laughs> i mean at a meet and greet that large of course your fans are going to are going to do stupid shit you wouldn't see this type of shit from a Markiplier fan base, even though he could very easily make a crowd that big. Like, look, the, the point I'm trying to get at here is the obvious one, right? Everyone has this point, I guess. It was insanely funny, right? A bunch of real goofy shit happened, but it was incredibly fucking stupid. Guy and his team were just incredibly negligent. Like, I, it really, it fucking appalls me that he looked at that idea and was like, yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just tell him. Let's just tell him exactly where we are and let's just give him a bunch of shit in a park. What could go wrong? Like, <laughs> of course that would be large because you're almost stupid to not go to that. Because, you know, on the surface, you're getting an invite to meet someone that you like and the possibility of getting shit completely for free. Like, yeah, well, why wouldn't you go to that? This shit was destined to go fucking horribly from the start, and they still decided to do it, man. It's fucking wild. I realize that the only fucking person to benefit from this is the loser who made a music video. <laughs> the, the original music video that he posted got like 100 likes, but on Twitter, it's at like 40,000 views, and this shit was posted just a few hours ago. I mean, the guy's clearly a genius. Not a lyrical one, okay? But a genius nonetheless. Oh, there's just people fucking destroying cars and shit. Like, Y'all aren't even here to meet Kai. L let's be real here, okay? At this point, like, I guarantee half that crowd doesn't even know who the fuck Kai is. They just saw a massive crowd, and they were like, oh, that's just an invitation to be degenerates. With also, also with no consequences, because, like, even if they are recorded, you already know most of this shit is gonna go unanswered, so... Uh, of course, <laughs> of course you're gonna go. You t you're telling me you wouldn't accept an invite to just go around and do whatever the fuck you want for no reason? Come on, man. And also, bro, it is New York City. Half the fucking people look or that are living there are looking for an opportunity to destroy a car. They do that shit as a hobby and you're just giving them the entire city as a fucking feeding ground. You, you just let them loose with no possibility of getting caught. How the fuck... How the, how the absolute fuck did he not see this shit coming? I, I really just want to see how much property damage was caused here. I mean, a lot, clearly. I mean, just in the videos I've seen, it's a fucking ton. And also, I wonder how much of that Kai has to pay, because there's no way he gets off scot-free. Bro already got released. Surely, surely he's getting some kind of backlash. Whatever, man, who knows? Anyways, that, that, that's about all. I mean, really, that, that's basically all that fucking went down. To sum it up, uh, Travis Scott Concert 2. Anyways, sub to the channel so that I can shut down all of New York City at some point. I mean, that's a new bucket list item right next to, like, kissing Mr. Beast. <laughs>